2 p.m. this afternoon here local time, former President Trump will be in a Miami federal courtroom facing 37 counts related to how he handled classified documents after leaving office. Now he is expected to enter a not guilty plea, but this is the first time we've seen anything like this. So we turn out with the big guns here, our senior legal analyst Chris Tritico, to kind of walk us through what to expect. This is going to be very quick in and out. So what what is going to happen? The, the arraignment, detention, what, what does this mean? So there's there's two things that happen today. Initial appearance, which is, involves an arraignment and a detention hearing. Neither one of those are going to take very long because uh, he's not going to be detained. And the government won't even move for detention in this case, uh, but everyone has to have one. And uh, the arraignment, uh, they're just the judge will ask him how he pleads. He'll say he's not guilty. Um, I doubt very seriously that she will force him to plead to each individual count. Okay. He'll just plead generally not guilty, and she'll enter that, and he'll sign some paperwork and be out. Okay. Um, it should take moments. But this is the beginning of a, a long, lengthy process, so he can waive his right to a speedy trial, but I wonder, though, can prosecutors still pursue it quickly on their end? So under the, under the Federal Speedy Trial Act, you, you have to be ready in 70 days for trial unless the defendant waives that, and I, I suspect that they will waive speedy trial today because it's very, very difficult to be ready for any any federal case in any trial in 70 days, and so I would suspect they'll waive that. Uh, once you waive that, it's hard to push too quick, but in in this district, they're known for getting to trial very, very fast, and so we'll see with the judge they've got uh, how quickly they move. She's made some rulings in Donald Trump's favor before. So we'll just see how it works. That were reversed by the appeals court, Correct. I believe. Okay. So let's talk about um, some other players of the game here. A lot of names mentioned about also having classified documents. We have President Biden, Vice President Pence, uh, former Secretary of State Clinton, all told, you know, you have classified documents too. So why no charges for those people? Well, because there's there, it's the way they handled those documents and the way they handled the accusation that you have those documents. When they were notified, we think you have classified documents, they said, well, come and look. And here, here's, here's where we store them, come and look, and if we have them, take them. That's two radically different things. Had Donald Trump done that when the uh, National Archives said, we think you have documents that you shouldn't have, had he opened up his records and said, come and get them, he wouldn't be in this situation today. It was the moving of the documents, the hiding of the documents, and the refusal to turn the documents over that got him in this position he's in today. Two last questions. In that 49-page indictment, what stood out to you? Do you feel like that was a strong case? Did you see everything you needed to see? So if, they, if the government can prove the things that they've alleged in this indictment, it's a very difficult day for Donald Trump. And what I've found in, in the years that I've been trying federal cases, when they charge you with obstruction, which they have, that's the harder case to win than the main case generally because the obstruction cases are where they have the real proof of you doing the things that they say you've done. In other words, you lied to the government about this. They have that on tape generally. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump talks so much, he has made multiple, multiple statements that they are using against him to show the obstruction. That's where they get him convicted. One last question. After today's hearing, what happens next? So he'll be set uh, for a, he'll get what's called a DACA control order, and they'll set uh, certain timelines for him with a trial date. If that, that rarely stands on the first, first trial date, but we'll see what happens. Uh, with Donald Trump's history, I would expect there'll be multiple appeals of rulings, because what he's angling for is to get this past the presidential election. And so you'll see every ruling that she makes appealed and with an effort to get it pushed past the election. Okay, Chris Chittico, thank you so much for breaking it down for us. You That's bet. the timeline here.